Hi guys, welcome. This is a error, right? So many errors out there, but I tried to Google this thing on YouTube and so didn't find anything. So let's make a tutorial for it. So there are many problems out there in the world and many of these, these yeah, messages you get. And we've seen our fair share 2022 September. We'll not forget it when the grub was failing on Arch. Now, what I've done, where is he? There he is. Guys, download the latest Arch Linux ISO, put it on something small, keep it around because you can always Arch root into your system and fix it. ArchLinuxD.com, ArchLinux.com, all on the website. So, plugging it in, booting up, in my case it's F8, it can be F1, F2. Escape seen as well and delete. Shift F2, there are lots of things to actually boot and get a boot menu, an option um, to do something different, right? So let's go zoom in. What I'm gonna do is take number two, which is gonna boot from the, the black Arch Linux, like so, and UFI not uh, bias boot. This is what it looks on Arch, right? I just wait, it's counting down seven seconds. In the meantime, I can show you how it looks. And move a little bit my camera to the top. That's uh, again working, finding out how this works again. So a small tripod, DJI, G, right? GGI. It's uh, quite handy to record everything and, and also some action videoing, which I'm not doing, of course. It's just not very stable. That's my reason. There's a blanket here on the desk. I'm gonna copy the root FS image to RAM. That's new, right? That's um, something they've added to the Arch ISO. We're going to copy paste everything to memory to read access memory random access memory ram <laughs> okay i think that doesn't sound good so here we are with the normal standard routine you know the drill and now we should maybe put it a little bit in front now just have to keep track that I don't I, I, from time to time I clear everything. So um LS block is probably the best way to do and see right see that I have UFI and even have a um, a swap it seems SDA3 and SDB is my USB. So best to clear and keep on no that's not a good idea then I should should move this back to the top then you know what I'll just do this and then a few enters until I'm in the screen so this is pretty my first problem load keys be latin one one i've got SRT. okay next up mount me the device sda2 inside mnt and mount me device sda1 which is the ufi in mnt boot efi that's it the swap is not needed since it's only there for for processes and all that. Now I'm gonna arch root in mount and it's up to me, right? Clear. I'm inside. Voila. I'm inside the uh, hard disk basically. If I ask give me the list then I have a whole operating system in there. And if I go to CD home I'll have my own proper 
Oh, even two. Eric and Ruth there, right? So, okay. Grub is a problem. Reflex says we update our system. Okay, <laughs> let's do that first. So it's an, um, an SSD where I develop the Sardi and the surfing icons and we are having 605 packages to download. So first of all, it was never up to date. Okay, fine. Let's update the system. Let's start with that. Can we still see it? No. But it's Linux 6.0.9 that's coming in. And we all might even be one of a month, two months or two months ago. 605 packages is a lot. It's 3.5 gigabyte of download size, right? That's quite a lot. So, staying in control is important. People use time shifts to stay in control. They use ButterFS and, and Snapper and all that to stay in control. Personally, I have not needed any of these tools in the sense that, um, well, you can fix any issue provided you've got the time and provided you've got the knowledge, certainly. Um, and also a clean install is sometimes better, really better. <laughs> because the dot config and the dot local sometimes get so crammed with all stuff that you've installed and uninstalled and reinstalled and uninstalled, right? And it's um, sometimes messes up with um, your operating system. We have now 33 desktops. So you install one and then remove the other. And just yesterday, somebody had an issue with key keyboards and you know language with languages, right? And uh, at some point in time, Plasma was installed, and then later on it was gone. And some package, one package, kept uh, was around, and then kept changing the language. So <laughs> there are sometimes very very strange things happening to a machine. That's why I say a clean install of Windows, of Mac, of Linux is still the best because then you know again, all right, everything is as, as it's supposed to be. And all I do then is install some more stuff, remove some more stuff and get my files from the internet. In my case, in the application in sync, going to get everything from Google Drive. And I pay for Google Drive. Well, you guys, thank for the donation, by the way. So this is how my work is now organized. I can reinstall easily and sync again with the OneDrive. Everything that is important that I can't lose is online already on GitHub and also on OneDrive and also on Dropbox. All right, so you have to figure a way that works for you. I say, okay, this is how I'm gonna use the tools that are available and get a free operating system. And in case you're wondering, this needs to go in here. <laughs> Ta -da. That wasn't important. Now it has a little place there. Now it's not nice, right? But oh, it's He's doing some work for Grub and line 2030, if you can, 2838 and 2738, I think it's in the picture. I hope it's in the picture. I'm gonna move it a little bit. 27 and 2838, he's doing things, right? Because of the problems we had in September, 2022, I added some lines. So in order that in the future, if something happens again, we don't have that again, let's hope. So let's clear, make sure we're in the middle. And then basically I'm gonna exit this, this, I don't need to be here. 
I'm out of Arch Root, and I'm gonna sudo reboot. I can unmount all kinds of things, but I'm gonna sudo reboot. Not gonna press on F8 or anything like that. I want to boot from the SSD in hopes, right, with my update that everything works again. So watch um, Google Arch uh, minus Shroot, right? Arch Shroot, and um, see what other people provide as knowledge because it's super, super interesting to know, of course, how to fix your system. And there's nothing else to do, it seems. So then, then it's, that's great. Um, so because of our, our fixes, our, our scripts, our, our Pac-Man hook and all that, everything works. But nevertheless, a quick recapture. There is two things that are interesting. Install EFI. Install, okay. Let's see why that's not there, or otherwise, no. So update grub, that's one of those guys that needs to be there. Okay, update grub is there. I thought it was install something. Then we need to scale, right? The content of etc scale is not on my home directory. When I type this, it's the uh, scale thing. It's going to copy paste everything over, makes also backups and all that. And if you want to know, there it is, right? That link, that's where you can read what it all does. Now, the best thing I do is probably going to just log out, log in. Log out, log in. Voila, then this guy is back again. Then I know my scale was successful. So what I wanted to do is install, and there he is. So this is also an alias, install grub EFI. Because of the problems of September, we have that alias there as well. And it's going to grub install, no error reported. So this guy comes first, and then update grub comes second. And that's basically what we do, and hopefully that will cover any future grub issues. Voila, the video is done. I fixed my system and I hope people can enjoy their computer systems again if you see that Malloc thing. Cheers.